trying to keep my life um, as uh, as normal as possible. So um, I'm uh, I'm staying at home uh, very much, and I'm um, trying to go to the studio as much as possible. Uh, being in mindful of the situation, I'm avoiding public transportation, which forced me to bike to the studio. Um, and it has been quite a pleasant change in my commute because um, it forced me to follow the weather and it has been a nice way to enjoy the spring, even uh, in such a moment of uh, difficulty. I believe this moment of crisis is actually um, a great time to understand the role of uh, the role that artists have in all our lives. Because I think that uh, if we uh, consider the conversations that we are having, uh, generally it first comes uh, the well-being of uh, of our loved one and our friends and family. But right after that, we switch to talk about the arts, uh, what movies are we watching, what books are we reading, uh, what art are we looking at, and these books and movies and art and music has been generally produced by artists that uh, uh, work in isolation often, uh, usually under uh, an uncertainty of their future and many times also in financial difficulties. So I think that we can be a particularly relevant voice nowadays. These days at the studio, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying quite much um, some sort of exercises in color. Uh, which have been very, very light and very, very open without um, much premeditation and without uh, planning. They are, at the moment, not yet proper art making, but kind of a um, free association exercise or a, a brainstorming, if you like, or um, just a way to have a conversation with color and keep it in my in my practice, hoping uh, that somehow something will bloom and uh, will find a way to integrate color in, uh, in my work, which has been mainly black and white for the, for the recent years. As everybody these days, I'm reading many books and um, watching many movies. I think that uh, as all of us, I'm looking at some uh, some more serious stuff and some more guilty pleasure that are, uh, shall remain private. But if I have to pick one thing to suggest, I would like to bring to your attention this book. It's titled Tell Me Something Good and has been edited by the Brooklyn Rail and is a simple but beautiful collection of um, uh, artist interviews that they published during the years. It includes many of my favorite artists, Luke Toymans, uh, Susan Fracon, Chris Martin, among many others. And it's been truly a joy to read their words and it gave me a sense of uh, company and, uh, and personal knowledge of so many artists that I admire and look up to.